Welcome to the Hartke Baseball Academy. My name is Terry Hartke, and with me today is a longtime Hartke Baseball Academy player, Kevin Franzen. Uh, welcome, Kev. Good to see you. Hey, Terry. How are you? Good, buddy. You know, our background goes back a long ways, and I, it, it's so long ago that I forget <laughs> how old you were at the time. But uh, you were how old when I first started? Six years old in the backyard over your house. That's awesome. And DJ was nine at the time, and uh, been a long time. It yeah. might have actually been longer than that, but who knows? I've told I've told people this story, and I hope this doesn't offend you. But I remember working with your brother, your old brother DJ, and and you sort of traipsing behind us, going "Me too, me too, me too." But that that's showed, how it always was. <laughs> yeah, that showed your love for the game of baseball, which uh, which has kept you going all through these years. Uh, currently, uh, Kevin's with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, he finished the year up last year with them and hit a great uh, 338, which uh, they in turn uh, gave him a nice contract for this coming year. So he played third base for them, but you do play other positions for the Phillies also. Yeah, the, this year I'll dabble in a few others, as in second, short, third, maybe the outfield, I don't know. I'll go to catch. I don't care. Whatever gets me on the field. That's what I was taught, you know. Whatever's going to get you on that field. Kevin, Kevin's background is, is a great background. Uh, he, he's a local San Jose product. Uh, he went to Bellarmine College Prep, uh, where he was a star uh, on their baseball team. He then got a scholarship uh, to San Jose State University, where when he left San Jose State, he was the all-time hits leader for, for the Spartans. And then was the 12th round draft pick of the San Francisco Giants. What year was that? 2004. 2004. 2004. And uh, at that point in time, uh, was that the team you wanted to have draft you? That's the only team I wanted to have draft. Nothing better than going to your hometown team and knowing that you know there's a possibility you can play in San Jose. You know, for the San Jose Giants, more than more than anything, more than playing for the San Francisco Giants, you're going to be playing at home. You know, at at, at that time, so. Now, when you got to the big leagues with the Giants, you were given a particular number. You want to tell me about that? Uh, right when I got there, I was number eight. No one will ever remember that one because uh, about a week into the whole deal, uh, Dave Rigetti gave me number 19. Um, number 19 has meant a lot to our family. Uh, my brother was born on May 19th. He battled cancer for 19 years. His favorite player was Dave Rigetti. His favorite number was 19. My first number of Pro Bowl was 19. Jason wore 19. Jason is Terry's son. And uh, I got to my locker one day, and there it was in my locker. I thought he just like had signed a jersey for me, but it was uh, Murph came up to me and told me that he had given it to me. And I mean, it wasn't anything I asked for. It was nothing that I would ever take away because I know how much 19 means to the Rigetti family. And uh, you know, that's one of those tokens that you'll never, ever forget in your life. And uh, you know. So much means about that number it means to me, my family, to a lot of people around here. Tells you something about Dave Rigetti also. He's an all right guy. Yeah, yeah he's nice. <laughs> you know, I, I really wanted to visit with you, Kevin, because I think your story is a story that many baseball players uh, go through, and, and some of them are able to get to the ultimate success point that you have, uh, but others don't. But uh, And what I mean by that is, is that you are not given the gold spoon in your mouth as far as baseball is concerned. You're, you're more of a blue collar guy when it comes to being a baseball player. Uh, tell me about your perseverance and, and how you had to battle to get to where you are today. I mean, it's it started ever since I was a little kid. I mean, I was always, I, I won't ever, you know, be coy about it and I'll, I'll say I was good. I was always good, but I wasn't the, you know, like you said, the golden spoon boy, you know, the guy, some of it's like, oh, this guy's great. Um, I always knew that if I wanted to play, I had to work harder than the next guy. And, you know, for me, Little League, it was, it wasn't, nothing was ever easy, but I mean, I, I did, I did everything. I played well there and all that stuff. I got, I had an eye opener when I got to, to Bellarmine. Um, you know, my freshman year, I, I tried out for the team and uh, I played second base for him, but I got DH for him. And I've always been a guy that hit his whole life, and I never, never in my life would have ever imagined that I got DH. I played my entire freshman year. I might have had 30 at bats, and I, I got DH four. I was wasn't strong enough. I was 4'11". I was 110 pounds when I was there. I, I, I remember it was between. 
actually my sophomore, junior, senior years in high school, I was so, I, I was frail. And, and you know, I wasn't frail, but I mean, I wasn't strong. I, I had no, no conditioning uh, of that sort of the strength. And I went to Chris over at EFS and, and did some things that just changed me physically that made me a better player. You're talking about Chris Morton? Chris Morton from EFS, okay. And so when I did that, I started seeing things go into baseball. Now, it made me able to work on certain things now that I was strong enough. You know what I mean? Like, I, if you were to go with, uh, like, my foot speed, right? Now I was able to work better side to side when I go, when take ground balls. You can't just go work ground balls. There's cer certain things that you have to build up to and get strong enough. And I was never strong enough. And so that led to things. And then with baseball, you know, hitting-wise, I wasn't strong enough to, you know, really pull a ball without using my shoulders or whatever. Once I got strong enough, I started using my hands, started, you know what I mean? There's, there's certain things that you could always do that makes yourself better, but it was an everyday thing. It wasn't a once, once a week thing. It was an everyday thing to make myself better because I wanted to be the best high school player at that time. Try this out for yourself.